So I'm going to show you how to solve an equation using the trial improvement method. So let's take a look at an example. So the question asks us to use trial improvement to solve x squared plus 3x equals 31 to one decimal place. The solution lies between x equals 4 and x equals 5. Show all your working out. So trial improvement is a bit like a guessing method. So you substitute your numbers into your equation and we're looking for a value of x which takes us as close as we can to 31. So the best thing to do first of all is draw yourself a little table. Divide your table up into three columns. Make the second column the largest because this one this is where all your working out will go. And your third column you can divide up into two. So in the first column you're going to have x. In the second column you're going to write your equation x squared plus 3x equals 31. I'm just going to circle the 31 because that's our target number. And in the final column we've got too small and too big. So in the question we're told that our solution lies between x equals 4 and x equals 5. So I'm just going to put these two numbers into the equation to start off with just to make sure that the solution lies between x equals 4 and x equals 5. So let's start with 4. So if we sub in 4 into our equation, it will be 4 squared plus 3 times 4. Make sure you put the 4 in for both x's. So it's 4 squared plus 3 times 4. Because 3x means 3 times x. So if you get your calculator and type this one in. So the first one gives us 28. So this is under 31, as you'd expect. So we tick too small. So let's go with x equals 5 next. So this one we should be expected to be over 31. So let's just check. So it would be 5 squared plus 3 times 5. So again, just use your calculator, 5 squared plus 3 times 5, so that gives us 40. So this time we're over 31, so our answer's too big. So once you've done x equals 4 and x equals 5, you then need to go halfway between these two. So halfway between 4 and 5 is 4.5. So let's sub this one into our equation. So we get 4.5 squared plus 3 times 4.5. So again, just work this out on your calculator. So 4.5 squared plus 3 times 4.5. That gives 33.75. There's no need to round these decimals off. Just write down what you get on your calculator. So 33.75 is over 31, so that's too big. So since 4.5 is too big, we need to now go down by 0.1 and do 4.4. The reason why we do this is because in the question it says our answer has to be to one decimal place, so we only need to go up or down in 0.1s. So let's see if 4.4 is closer to 31. So 4.4 squared plus 3 times 4.4. So that is 32.56. So again, this is too big. So we need to decrease by 0 0.1 again. So let's go with 4.3. So we need to keep doing this until we get one either side of 31. So 4.3 squared plus 3 
times 4.3 that gives us 31.39 so again this is too big so let's drop it down by 0.1 again and do 4.2 so 4.2 squared plus 3 times 4.2 that gives 30.24 and this one is under 31 so 4.3 was too big and 4.2 was too small so you should be able to see now which one was our closest answer to 31 so the closest answer to 31 was 31.39 so our answer line, on the answer line you can write down 4.3 However, on some exam papers, um, you will lose a mark because there's one final step you need to show. So what you need to do on your final step to get full marks for this question is to go in between the two which were closest to 31, so that's 4.2 and 4.3. So we have to go halfway between these two numbers and show 4.25. Whatever you do though, don't write this down as your final answer. This step is only here to help you decide which one of these two was the closest. So let's just do 4.25. So that gives us 30.8125. So the reason why this helps us decide which one was the closest out of these two is because we were looking to get 31. Now 31 lies between this number and this number it doesn't lie between 30.8125 and 30.24 so therefore that's why the 4.3 was the closest so if you want to get full marks on your exam you need to show this last step thanks for watching